Thank you for checking out this video tutorial from designthedream.com. Today I'm going to show you in Photoshop CS6 how to set up a document including the bleeds that you need when you send it to a printer. So we're going to create a new document. First thing to make sure you always do is set up your colour mode as CMYK because that's what printers use, not RGB. RGB is for on-screen stuff only, CMYK is for printed stuff. So CMYK, um, our width, now I'm doing, for this example, I'm going to do a business card. Um, your printer will have specific sizes that they give you. In this case, the template that I'm using for the printer that's going to do this for me, they've said their business card size is 90 millimeters by 55 millimeters. Now that's the size not including the bleed. We're going to add the bleed onto that. So this is the size the card will be trimmed down to. Um, so that's an important note because you may be given a size that includes the bleed, in which case you'll need to take that off before you start. So once we've set that up, we've got our business card here. What we're going to do is go to the view menu and click on rulers so that our rulers pop up. If these are already up here, obviously you don't need to do this step. And from here, we're going to actually click on the ruler and we're going to drag down and what it will do is create a guide. So you can see there, it's got a blue line, which is our guide. We want that and we can adjust it again. We want that to be right on the edge and it should snap in place for you. So let's do both edges and then we're going to use the side ruler to do the same thing so that we have a blue guide that goes around our entire work area. Now what you're going to do is go to image, then canvas size, and this is where we're going to add our bleed onto the picture. Now, some printers, again, have different bleeds. So you need to check the requirements of your printer. In this case, I'm going to add a two millimeter bleed. Now, it's important to note that I actually need to add two millimeters to both sides and to both top and bottom as well. So to do that, you need to make sure that your relative box just here is ticked. And what that will do, see without that, it shows you the current size. With that, it will just add on to the current size. So we're going to add two to each side. So we're going to add four to the total width and we're going to add four to the total height. And we're gonna leave our anchor in the middle. So if you press okay, you'll see what it's done is it's actually extended the size of our canvas out past our guides. And now the best part about this one is that I've actually got a white background and I've got a black border so I can actually see where the bleed is. But the good thing is, even if you don't have the different colors, if you use your paint bucket tool, I'll just show you what I mean. Even if your background is only one color, you've now got the guides in place. So the basic rule then is that anything that you type or, or anything that you draw, I'll just show you, it's just a simple word. So all of your artwork now needs to stay within these borders. If you put it up at the edge, there is a risk that it might get cut just along the edge. So I would keep it a little bit further in from the edge um, and anything that sits outside your guides will be cut off. So that's a really important note. Um, one important note with that though is that when you are designing your background, so keep all of your text and your artwork inside. If you're adding a background, so for example, let's just put in a nice red background here. If you're wanting this to cover your entire area, it's important that you don't do what I've just done um, because when this is cut by the printer, you'll end up with a black or a white border around where your bleed is. So you do need to make sure that all background artwork does extend right past the edges and that includes things like photos and that as well. Um, but make sure that any important information or any important details that you want people to see stays within your guides and you'll be fine. Um, so thank you for listening and hopefully that's been helpful to you. Um, please check out our website for some other tutorials um, at designthedream.com. Thank you.